We'll see how to set up configure and connect the K eight cluster. Um, okay, all right. Well, let me show you how to define an endpoint. Right. Let's do that. So here, in um, in Portainer, if you want to add an endpoint, you go to the endpoints menu, and we are several. There are several ways of defining an endpoint. Um, it can be via Kubernetes with a load balancer or an old port, or you can add a Docker Swarm here very easily. In terms of connection possibilities, and I mean remote uh, con connecting to a remote uh, instance or cluster, you have the agent and the edge agent. Um, in this case, I'm using the agent. I'm having a direct connection to this Kubernetes environment, and I'm using the agent to access this endpoint so here it is in this case i'm already using the local um a kubernetes uh, environment that is running on this same machine but if it were remote all i would have to do is install the agent and preferably in kubernetes i pre i prefer to use the kubernetes node port version you run this you have to make sure you have kubectl or kube uh, cuddle install however you you pronounce it um, on your Kubernetes environment. And with this command, you can very easily deploy this agent onto your remote cluster. And basically what you have to do is give it the name. So that if I had a second environment, I would call it cube two, for instance, give it the IP, whatever IP you wanna have. And this agent runs on port 30778. So for, we have all the documentation online that you can, very easily follow to be able to deploy. All you have to do is look for a uh, um, portainer uh, endpoint or portainer add endpoint or portainer add Kubernetes endpoint on the, on the internet. And it will show you how easily you can add endpoints to your environment. Right, so let's go to more questions. I hope that managed. The edge agent, oh, before anyone asks, this is for edge devices or IoT devices. Um, so I can predefine an edge agent here, and I will just add it be that running on Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, or Docker standalone, the same command on the edge environment and connect that to this um, portainer instance. Differences between edge and portainer agent. Edge uh, is was basically developed for, again, um, IoT devices or servers that are in really remote uh, locations with um, unreliable network connections, or with lots of lag in terms of connection. So it doesn't necessarily use uh, the synchronous connection that you would use on a regular portainer agent. It can run asynchronously or in a very bad connection with a much longer tolerance for in terms of connection to that given uh, device. So if you're running, for instance, a, a lab where you have direct access to the, the Kubernetes clusters that you wanna manage, it's preferable to use the uh, pertainer agent. If you're running um, if, uh, IoT devices or even servers that are in remote locations with uh, unreliable network access, it's better to use the edge agent. Mm -hmm.